We got another great act for you coming up. This gentleman, listen to this. This guy has over 35 television appearances in the United States of America, and he's soon going to be uh, featured on Conan O'Brien. Please welcome the sarcastic wit of Mr. Rich Seisler. <laughs> Feeling tonight good? Yeah. Great to be back. Well, this is very nice. They've done a beautiful job here, and the stage is, I, I feel like I'm on a mountain. <laughs> I just feel like going, Ricola! <laughs> what is wrong with that guy? Does that bother you? Why would anybody climb a mountain to yell out their cough drop? <laughs> is anyone that happy with their lozenger? Ricola! If he'd stop yelling, he wouldn't need the goddamn Ricola. <laughs> what is there, a guy in another mountain pissing him off? <laughs> Ludens! <laughs> is I live in Boston, Massachusetts. It's great to be up here, and uh, Boston's a fun town. Yeah, come on. Really. <laughs> Heavy drinkers, just like this area. Hey, please don't drink and drive. Be careful tonight. It's very serious. I had a couple last week at home, and it's stupid. You know, I'm driving home. Cop pulls me over. He says, you drinking? I said, you buying? <laughs> he did not have the same sense of humor as you people. <laughs> Luckily, he was a Boston cop, so a couple of bucks, and he was on his way. But a lot of times... They got the credit card right in the cruiser now, and you use Discover, you get 1% back. <laughs> we got some corrupt cops. The chief of police from Brockton, Massachusetts, was just arrested and put in jail. True story for being a cocaine addict. Chief of police, for five years, he was doing cocaine out of the evidence room. <laughs> Here goes Exhibit A. True story. He was actually going from school to school with a kilo of cocaine, showing it to kids, telling them how bad drugs were. He was doing it the whole time. He'd show up the first week, kids, this is a kilo of cocaine. It's very bad for you. Just say no, drugs are no good. Second week, kids, this is a half a kilo of cocaine. This is very, very dangerous. This is a gram of cocaine. This is very, very, this is what they keep cocaine in, this bag. This is where you would find your cocaine if there were any. To any of you kids got any money on you? <laughs> oh boy, so many people pissing me off these days. That's why I like going to the supermarket. It's the only store that gives you space. Because they give you that stick when you check out. You know that stick that divides your stuff up from me? <laughs> I love that stick. That stick says it all. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> I carry one around now, all the time now. Wherever I am. I'm in a bar, some jerk sits next to me, I slap that thing right down. <laughs> I think you understand the meaning of the separator. <laughs> I don't like stores. They're too The malls around here are ridiculous. They're too big. Do you ever see the guide to a mall now? It's like a little blueprint of the mall. You have to be like, uh, you know, an architect to figure it out. Then there's a little red dot that says, you are here. <laughs> Just then this Indian woman walked in with a big dot in her head. <laughs> so I kept following her around. <laughs> I figured wherever she was, I was close. I'm working down the store at uh, Queen Street here in town. I'm walking down. There's a condom store. Have you been here? Condoms. What is it? Condom. Condom King. Condom Shack. I don't get it. I don't understand. They have flavored condoms. Explain that to me. Do you ladies have taste buds down there? Mmm, <laughs> mango. 
So who else is pissing me off this week? So many people. <laughs> chiropractors, I hate them. I hate chiropractors. They're not doctors. They have no student loans whatsoever. <laughs> Anyone go to one? Do you? I finally went to one. I threw out my back. Apparently, the problem was the wallet in my back pocket was too thick and throwing me out of alignment. <laughs> he took care of that. <laughs> what a ripoff. The guy charges me $50 for a consultation. He looks at me for five minutes. He goes, remember this, Rich, bend at the knees. <laughs> well, thanks. Take another 50 for yourself. <laughs> Geez, for so many years now, I've been bending at the thighs. <laughs> People love to rip me up. You gotta fight back. I'm, I believe in consumer advocacy. I, I, I try to get in, educated and involved. I do what I can, you know? About a year ago, I sent away for a book on mail order fraud. It hasn't come in yet. But like today, This is, a nice, this is a nice week away from me from home, so it's like a vacation. When I'm on vacation, I drink. My philosophy is alcohol, it's not just for breakfast anymore. <laughs> People get so negative. Rich, you shouldn't drink, you're poisoning your liver. That is so negative. I'm marinating it. <laughs> People always ask me, they say, is it true comedians have a problem with alcohol? You know what, the answer is no. Drinks are free for us. <laughs> People say, can you smoke pot before a show like this? Would that screw up your jokes or make you repeat punchlines? And the answer is no. Drinks are free for us. <laughs> but I am single, I don't understand women. There's nothing I understand about women. Here's something, I don't understand the way you take off your shirts. That's very simple. Here's a basic difference. When a guy takes off a shirt and a woman takes off, completely, every woman in this room, in the, in the TV, watching it out there, every woman in the world, I don't care where you're from, how old you are, you all take off your shirt the same way. It makes no sense to any man. Every woman here, why do you take off your shirt? You all do this, you start off with this move. Right here you go. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's like you're doing the great Houdini escape. And it gets better. You wiggle it up. Now, here's the best part. Your arms are still crossed. And without letting go, you defy science. I work this out on computer. It doesn't work. Somehow you flip it, and it's like up over your head, folded and put away all in the same move. Of course. Of course, guys, we don't do it like that, do we, guys? No. I said, guys, we don't do it like that, do we, guys? No. Every guy does it exactly the same. I call it the two-finger roll. This will look very familiar to you. Two fingers here. <laughs> hold it, whoa, hold it. Look at that. Coincidentally, that happened to fall completely folded and put away. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? No guy can fold. No. no guy can fold. It's not our fault. They just did a big study at the University of uh, Mississauga. <laughs> And apparently men are missing the folding chromosome in the brain. <laughs> Every woman here has tried to teach a guy how to fold, too. I lived with three different women in my life. They all tried to, they all said exactly the same thing. It's not that difficult, Rich. <laughs> this is what you ladies say. You go first, you take the arms, you fold them back. No problem, we got that. It's the next move I don't like. <laughs> this is the one where you all make that stupid folding face. You know this one. You look it's like that dumb mascara thing you do. 
We start laughing our ass off, you get mad, you leave. This is how every guy in the world folds something he wants it to look really good. Every guy is going, that's perfect. Sometimes we hold it like this, it looks even better. Look at that. I could work at the gap right now. We can't iron either. I don't know. What does the shape of that ironing board have to do with anything that I own? If I was trying to iron surfboard covers, I would have no problem. Before I go, I want to tell you a quick story. I was looking at Boston Magazine where I lived last week. The cover story was the 100 wealthiest people in New England, and they actually listed them by name and address. <laughs> Number 87 was a woman named Lou Anne Cavanaugh worth 287 million bucks left to her in her inheritance. She's 28 and she's single. I said, you know, that's stupid. That shouldn't be in the paper. A lot of guys are jerks. They're going to read this, call her up, ask her out. They're not going to care about her. They're just going after her money. And I feel bad for her. No, I feel bad for her, because I really love this woman. <laughs> I don't know, it feels different this time. <laughs> Richest guy in the country now, Bill Gates. He owns Microsoft, 41 years old. He is worth now, they say, $14.3 billion. Wow. I'll tell you something, folks. I've never been sexually attracted to a guy in my life. <laughs> but I really love this man. I don't know, it feels different this time. Not like that Luann bitch in her chump change. So much money out there, lotteries. I was just reading this the other day. Did you read about this? A woman that won the lottery in Chicago, 88-year-old woman, they don't give her all the money at once. It's over 20 years. What a cruel joke the state is playing on that woman. Come on, you can make it another year. Here you go. I think that's cool, because I really love this woman. I don't know, it feels different this time. You guys have been the best crowd I've ever worked for. Well, I don't know, it felt different this time. Thanks a lot. Thanks. For Rich Sizer, huh? Like, I've got to tell you. Oh, we love you. Hang on, folks. We'll be right back after this message. Don't forget, if you want your joke of the week on the air, drop us a line at joke of the week, care of Club 54, 33, 45, Harvester Road, Burlington, L7N, 3N2.